So I'm in the process of uh, jacking up my boat. I'm gonna put it on blocks so I can pull out my uh, cradle because in order for me to um, install the fin, this side, the support piece is in the way. So I need to cut that out. But what I'm actually gonna do is turn the single, single cradle into two halves and uh, which will obviously allow me to get rid of that. But I'm also gonna cut the, uh, the bunks that they're on. So the bunks, cause the bunks are all one piece also. Um, and the reason I'm doing that is in preparation for when I put on the trailer, which is down the road quite a ways, but it'll make it easier for me to put on trailer. Cause what I'll do is jack up half, you know, inch the trailer in, then I can pull that, pull the front half of this out and then kind of work the trailer in and jack it up and then I'll pull that out. Things. So it'll make it easier to get it on the trailer. Um, and I think it'll help, help the cradle actually you know, sit on the floor uh, better because sometimes actually these one of these two back wheels is just always kind of off the floor a little bit which is kind of weird uh, the way this is setting but uh, so anyway I'm in the process of doing that I have the front um, blocks now I've got a uh, little bottle jack here right there and so I'm about to jack the back up and I'll, I'll put uh, blocks on both sides here so the boat won't tip in front I just have one in the center So plan B, uh, you can't jack the front up if you only have a center support. And I figured that out the hard way. A lot of you out there probably like, duh. But uh, so I had to let that back down because it was tippy. I had the front jacked up. And I started jacking off the back and the boat was tipping. So I let it back down on the front and I've jacked up the back, which I have supports on the other side. So I'm still working on it. All right, so I have it jacked up now. Doing it from the back first on both sides, obviously, looks much better. And I got it in front. So now, this is my goal. Pull this right out. And this one side over here, I actually use it for long board storage. And I'm gonna keep doing that. I'll still cut it in half, but um, I still plan on having these boards here. I'll probably have to take them all off. I took some of them off just because it was causing the, the uh, cradle to tip. But uh, plus some long ones were going to hit those blocks. But, so I'm going to pull this out and uh, cut these bunks about you know here and there. And then I'll cut these out and then I'll have those two, two halves and I'll just put them back under there. And, lower the rope back down on them and so I can still roll it around and I'll be able to get under in the middle um, like I mentioned for the uh, installed fin and then it'll be a good preparation for when I put on the trailer someday. So. Okay, I have two halves now and so what I will do So the boat is back on its two-piece cradle now. And uh, so I can move it around as needed and I'll be able to get under there just fine to, for the fin. So I've got it. It was a little tricky, not real tricky, but just having to maneuver blocks and things and work around the travel of my little bottle jack. Sometimes I had to lower it a little bit, block it up, and then adjust the jack and lower it a little bit more, especially in front. But anyway, it's uh, all ready to go again. <laughs> 